Greetings, sports fans! Welcome to the broadcast booth. I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is episode 36 of Booze and Baseball Cards. While you're here, hope you'll subscribe. Tonight, the artist spotlight shines on Mike James and his work in 2018 Topps Museum Canvas Collection. Boxes of museum collection are very pricey, with only 20 cards per box, and odds are you only get one canvas collection card per box. So I'm really honored to be able to present you with Mike's work. At the end, there will be an artist autograph card giveaway. Tonight, we're enjoying Red Stripe, a preferred frosty beverage of the artist. Let's have a sip. Mmm... Cheers to you, Mr. James. We're starting things off with the Bambino Babe Ruth. Uh, I love this card. I love the smile. I love the twinkle in his eye. It's just a beautiful portrait of the babe. In my Q&A with Mike, I asked him uh, if he studied art. Was he self-taught? He said both. He was doing sports art back in high school, but he did go to university for fine art, uh, and he got into graphic design after that, and and he laughs, and he says, and in the end, I'm doing the same thing I was doing before all the studies. Uh, A cool thing about Canvas Collection is the texture. Uh, I'm sure, hopefully, you can pause the video if you want and get a really good look. You can see the texture on it. Uh, It really makes it feel like you're holding pure art in your hands. Uh, It's one of my favorite things about the Canvas Collection. Uh, It doesn't have that gloss to it. It's a matte finish. They're they're just awesome. Uh, Next question I asked Mike was how long he had been painting athletes and when did he start? Another beauty there of Mike Trout. Uh, He said he's been drawing and painting as long as he can remember and he started selling work in the early 90s as a teenager Uh, And most of the time he said he drew art on baseballs. I would love to see some of that, although he laughs again and and told me that he'd probably shudder if he looked at those uh, pieces of art today. Um, Again, the Trout card, beautiful. Every card of Mike's, I feel, is telling a story, and I love that about his particular work. Uh, there's a number of artists. There are 50 Canvas Collection cards, and Mike, I believe, did eight of them. We're going to look at them all. Um, but his are among my favorites because of the story it feels like every portrait is telling. Uh, and this Mike Trout is no exception. Uh, I asked him uh, about his process, uh, and he said most uh, what he does now uh, is he maps out first everything that's going to take place on the canvas Um, especially for the large companies because he doesn't want to get into it before they give final approval. Uh, There's a lot of tight deadlines and detail is very important, so he doesn't want to waste time uh, for them or himself. Uh, And he said that backgrounds are always the last thing he thinks about. Um, I asked him what he uses, and he says most of the time he uses pencil, uh, marker, and colored pencils for any of the artwork on cards, uh, but on occasion he said he will paint them, but it's very rare just simply due to the time constraints. Uh, Again, I love this Derek Jeter card. It just is so much the captain, that smile of loving the game. Uh, Again, you can see the texture, especially in his hat. Uh, Really, really awesome. Again, cheers to you, Mike. Mm. Mike is Canadian. Uh, from Guelph, Canada, and I think it's so funny that among his favorite beers is Red Stripe from Jamaica. Uh, It's a long trip up to Guelph from Jamaica. Uh, So I asked Mike uh, how he got involved in the card industry, and he said back in 2003, he did a hockey set uh, for Be a Player, uh, and it was an insert set called Brush with Greatness, Uh, and years later he ended up working for them uh, when they became in the game, And he worked there in the graphics department, uh, but art is really his true calling. And when other card companies came a-calling, he turned that into doing it full-time. I asked him about his favorite players to draw, retired or active. Uh, He said he loved drawing Ken Griffey Jr. He's got a great face. Uh, And when he was younger, he loved drawing Roberto Alomar. Uh, because he just thought he was loads of fun to draw, and the more distinct a person is, the more he enjoys drawing them. He also 
which is why we're looking at Bryce Harper. He loves drawing beards. Uh, he says, unless they're hobbit beards, because those are just a little too large. Again, great portrait of Bryce Harper right here. Uh, I, I see that face, you know, live when he's playing. You always see him looking up at the scoreboard uh, after he's hitting. And that's the story to me that I'm seeing in this in this portrait uh, with the Bryce Harper rockin' beard. Uh, asked Mike if he collects cards, uh, and he said that uh, his collection personally is very small. Just his favorite cards from when he was a kid collecting with his dad. Uh, and like me and like you viewers, we all love the fathers and sons, fathers and daughters getting into card collecting together. Um, and uh, so he's now slowly getting back into it. Uh, for his personal collection. And when he was a kid, he really liked collecting Ripken and Alfonso Soriano, which I thought was a really interesting choice. I don't often hear a lot of people say they love collecting Alfonso Soriano cards, so I think that's awesome. Love this card. KB. Just a KB has got a, such a great smile, again, with a beard. Uh, just a beautiful card. I can't say enough about Mike's work. It's just... If, imagine these huge on your wall. It would be incredible. Just true, true, wonderful portraiture. Um, I asked him about the average time to complete a portrait, and he said about two hours each, though sometimes you can bang him out faster if it's a really tight deadline. Some sets he ends up spending three, four hours per card. It just depends uh, on what's needed and how much time he's got. Uh, I asked him if he has any favorites of his own work, and he said, not particularly. Um, he's done a lot of other cards. He did the Hobbit cards. He did Ghostbusters cards, Game of Thrones cards. Uh, and for this year's museum collection, um, he's really, really proud. And I say, you should be proud, Mike, because these are just beautiful. Uh, I feel so fortunate to be able to hold these in my hand and show them to all the fab viewers out there. Um, asked Mike what his favorite painter was, alive or dead. Uh, his answer was Albrecht Dürer, uh, a portrait artist from the 14 and 1500s. Uh, and if you go and Google that artist's name, you can really see uh, Mike gets a lot, you know, no wonder he's so good at drawing faces um, because that's what uh, Dürer did, uh, Albrecht. And um, it really, I think, you know, when you have are a fan of a certain type of work, it translates into your own. Uh, and again, here, this is a great shot. I mean, it's an action shot, um, just beautiful artistry. I love the shading. Uh, every one of his cards has beautiful shading. If they're not flat, everything is a really wonderful choice. And not every artist makes the best choice for when they make their portrait. And so I really commend Mike on his portraiture choices. The greatest closer of all time, Mariano Rivera. Again, just a beauty. Love the texture. The texture is what pops so much for me. Um, but that glimmer in the eye. Uh, he's got the eye, the pinpoints. Really beautiful stuff. Cheers again, Mike. Mmm. If you can't tell, I'm a fan of his work. Mike also does, as we round up uh, to the end here, Aaron Judge, all rise. Love this shot because uh, I mentioned it in uh, a, an Allen and Ginter episode that we don't often see Aaron Judge with the eye black much anymore. So I just think it's really cool when you get to see that. Um, Mike does commissions. And one of one cards, he has blank museum collection canvas cards. And as long as he gets permission from Tops, he can do a one of one for you. Um, and those are inserts. There, there's the original artist card in museum collection. And they are like as hard as pulling a super refractor. So if you want to get in touch with Mike to request a commission, uh, you can check out his Facebook page, facebook.com slash Mike James dot artist. I will also put a link in the description if you want to reach out to him for that. Okay, giveaway time. Our last card is the giveaway card. I previewed it in Ripping Live earlier in the month, but here she is. Bam! The most talked about player in baseball this year, arguably, Shohei Otani. 
uh, you know that this is a tough pull out of museum collection, and it can be yours. Uh, not only that, but as usual with artist spotlights, autographed by the artist. That is about as good as it gets. Good luck trying to get an artist autograph Shohei Otani canvas collection card anywhere else but right here. Uh, all you got to do, like this video, make sure you're a subscriber, uh, and when I get 10 entries of I'm in, you know I like to keep it simple, uh, after a couple weeks, I will do the drawing. Uh, so as we close out, just wanted to thank Mike once again for his time uh, answering all the questions, uh, just having a good time with me and indulging all of us lovers of the hobby. Make sure you get yourself entered in this awesome giveaway. Thank you so much for watching. You know the outro. Slam that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Tell all your friends. And I'll see you next time on Booze and Baseball Cards.